This is the second video. We're going to talk about the Bionics um, electric assist system. Basically, the motor is located in the back inside here. The battery is located up front in between your legs. And there's a key on this side that will provide you. And basically, you have to put the key in, pop that out. This unlocks. Just pull that forward a little bit more, and this whole thing slides out just like that. Um, to recharge it, we'll provide a charger. You plug the charger in here, and the little light should glow just like it is there. You don't have to remove the battery from the bike in order to charge the battery. In fact, it's a lot easier to uh, just leave it in the in the uh, bike to recharge it. Just get it near a wall outlet, and the cord's like six feet long. So, um, it's a tight squeeze in here, and then you push this forward. Take the keys out, put them in a backpack or something like that. Piece of cake. Um, the display for the Bionics is up front here. Kind of mounted it, kind of underneath so it wouldn't get hit if you crash or anything. God forbid you crash. To turn the console on, you hit the power button right here. Give it a couple seconds, it'll beep three or four times. In order to turn up the assist level, you hit the plus sign here, and it's got four levels of assist. You can see the four levels here, and it says assist right here. And then if you turn it down, this is a regenerative mode. So I'll, we'll turn it back up to assist mode. You have to start going two kilometers per hour. The electric assist will start helping you pedal. And then basically, the only thing that we really need to show you that's really important is that this is a sensor right here that senses this magnet right here. Okay? As soon as the brake gets hit, the magnet will be too far away from the sensor and it'll shut down the system which is what you want okay you can see right there I'm hitting the brake letting the brake go hitting the brake and it kills the engine which is what you want but you need to make sure that after you let go of the brake the assist level goes back up if it doesn't that means this sensor is slightly out of adjustment and you need to move it around in order to where it senses the magnet again um, and then the only other big component is the throttle. We've located it right here. We hope that that's a good place for you. As you slam your hand into the downhill bar, we're hoping that you can hit it with your thumb right here. And you don't have to be pedaling or anything in order to have the throttle work, which is pretty nice if you're totally tired and you don't want to pedal anymore. You just need to get the bike up to at least two kilometers per hour, and then you can hit the throttle and you can go crazy, <laughs> go about 20 miles an hour. So um, if you have any questions, Bionics has got pretty good customer service, so you can call me.